Hi, my name is Edie Graham, and I am an assistant professor of neuroimmunology at Northwestern Medicine. A woman with multiple sclerosis can safely get pregnant, and there's no evidence to say that their pregnancies are any more risky than any other woman. During pregnancy, MS tends to quiet down, and that's because of the complex interplay between the placenta and the immune system. So the placenta actually secretes a hormone that induces immune tolerance in our immune system. So we understand already that there is an immune shift from one that would potentially attack the fetus, which we wouldn't want, to one that becomes more tolerant. And for that reason, many autoimmune diseases tend to quiet down during pregnancy. Well, most women with MS will stop their treatment prior to pregnancy, and one of the decisions that an MS physician helps the pregnant patient make is how far in advance to stop that treatment, depending on certain things like the half-life of the treatment and the risks of that treatment to the fetus. Whether or not a woman with MS can continue her treatments during pregnancy really depends on the treatment and the severity of the MS. We currently have 23 FDA-approved treatments for multiple sclerosis, and it really is a complex decision that needs to be made with an MS provider. Many of the biologic treatments that we are using for multiple sclerosis are very similar to other treatments that are used in rheumatology. And we do actually have a lot of safety data regarding these treatments from um, studies in the field of rheumatology. And so part of the research that I do is actually looking at ocrelizumab and seeing um, what the outcomes are for the, for the mother and fetus during pregnancy if, if they are indeed exposed prior to or during pregnancy. So in the postpartum period, um, there is a higher risk of relapse. Um, the risk of relapse depends on a lot of factors, um, including how well controlled the patient's MS was in the year prior to pregnancy. But postpartum, there is a massive hormonal fluctuation. And because of that, there is a shift in the immune system and autoimmune diseases can get worse in the postpartum period. In the postpartum period, the most important thing is the opportunity for the patient to bond with her baby and to make sure that um, MS really isn't a factor that they have to worry about in those first couple of weeks that are so critical of a time for her body to heal. And sometimes that means we do have to give medications to help prevent an MS relapse, and other times we're able to wait and watch the patient um, depending on the severity of their MS.